Okay, hi boys, uh, welcome to uh, Yorkshire Soap Shop. We're here this morning to talk about Happy Valley Pride. I'm with Mike and David, who are our founders of Happy Valley Pride, and um, just wanted to ask you a little bit more about it. So how did Happy Valley Pride come about? Well, Happy Valley Pride came about when we all saw this piece of graffiti in Hempton Bridge uh, uh, on a tar tarpaulin, uh, which basically said, so-and-so is a gay boy. Uh, we were quite shocked to see this. Uh, it's absolutely unacceptable in this uh, day and age. Uh, but to see it in Hempton Bridge was quite uh, disturbing, we felt. Mm. So we thought we had to put something together to try and change this. So we thought, how c what can we do? Well, Hebden Bridge and the Calder Valley, it's very arts-based mm -hmm. and the power of art and the power of literature is a powerful tool. So, um, so yeah, we thought that uh, we would try and come together as a collective um, and figure out how to tackle that piece of graffiti and that yeah. hate crime. Um, we discussed lots of ideas, took quite a few months to kind of formulate and talk to different people and figure out what the best response would be. Um, what we thought was that in this community of, of artists, um, you know, to use art as a medium to talk about LGBT issues, specifically with young people, um, and use that as a, a sort of catalyst, really. Yeah. Um, so we're a not-for-profit organisation, and we'll be raising funds throughout the festival, throughout the year, really, to help support um, the underlying objective of the, of the organisation, okay. uh, which is about kind of eradicating hate crime on the basis of sexuality and, and gender identity. Okay, I think that's a great initiative and I think everybody's uh, mm -hmm. kind of obviously embracing it already. I've gathered the launch night was a big success. Yes. So, um, what are you most excited about that's taking place during the festival week? Um, our exhibition mm -hmm. uh, at Nelson's. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's come together really well. The support we've had from local artists has been brilliant. And we've got some superb pieces of work uh, for sale. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, and they've been very kind and uh, people have donated, artists have donated a certain percentage of their work towards our organisation. Uh, Peter Tatchell is coming up uh, on Saturday the 13th. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll which the is Birch the main Birch, day, isn't it? Which is the, the main day, yeah. yeah. Saturday the 13th is the main day. Yeah, he's at the Birch Group Centre and he'll be doing a half an hour speech uh, um, followed by a Q&A uh, from the audience. Yeah. Uh, it's a real rare opportunity, isn't it? Yeah, so it is very people rare. Move. Really engaged with that. Well, it's great because Peter's not only about LGBTQ issues, he's about human rights yeah. and he's a major figure on the world stage. So, yeah. to get him to come along and support our event uh, um, is absolutely just Phenomenal. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Very good. Um, so, what else were we talking about? So yeah, so the, uh, the, main, the main day, Saturday the 13th. Um, Hub of activity at the town hall in Hebden Bridge, yeah. uh, family friendly event, you know, dog show, bake offs, all that sort of stuff. Um, the other thing is, we've got the main stage at the Trace Club in the evening, yeah. uh, where we've got fantastic David Hoyle and Wobbly Bob. Yeah. Um, so they and also some DJs. Some DJs as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that'd be a really good night of uh, high energy. Yeah. Uh, Letting steam dancing. off, yeah. Yeah, lots okay. of dancing. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Um, and if I wanted to know more, I'm sure there's other people I've managed to find out through volunteering uh, opportunities. How can other people get involved with it at this point? Um, HappyValleyPride.com, yep. um, Facebook and Twitter uh, as well. And uh, yeah, just you know, looking for volunteers, looking for people all year round, it's not just throughout the festival to get involved. Um, and HappyValleyPride.com has got the programme on there and also uh, a couple of tickets for the ticketed events. Yeah, fabulous. I know you've also got your monthly social and we're having a one-off yes. session as well, aren't we? That's right. So first Wednesday of every month, um, monthly social. Yeah. Um, quite camp, quite uh, quite interesting. It's been um, great so far. We've had great. It's really lovely social group. Yeah. And it's open to everybody. Yeah. And we've had such fun doing it. And that's a that's a, a monthly event using the first Wednesday of every month. Yeah. In this case, it's on the 10th uh, of August. And we have bingo, and, we're, and it's very high class. Right? <laughs> we have bingo, and we have a raffle, and pub quiz, pub quiz yeah. and we have a very special host, i.e. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then there's also kind of poetry nights and things that we organise as well. Yeah, yeah. But Because um, we have Happy Valley uh, Pride Poetry Society, uh, which has been ongoing for a few months. And again, that's growing, and people can turn up, read their own poetry, uh, sing a song. Uh, not only uh, content being about LGBTQ things, but whatever they want, and it's a lovely, 
group, which involves everybody, which is the special thing about Hebden Bridge. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a community thing, and it's pretty, it's, it's lovely, it's, it's, and it's growing. I think we're rounding it off on the Sunday with a pink picnic. Pink picnic, yeah. Pink picnic, yeah. picnic uh, potlight cafe, and yeah, uh, yeah that'd be lovely. That'd be pennies <laughs> to the uh, to the festival. Yeah. Um, so there's a bit of music out there. Just bring a blanket, bring some sandwiches, and uh, just and a lot of support from uh, Kim who runs Palace. Yes, so far, yeah, yeah, yeah. And support from, or well, not only from Kim, but for all the businesses in Hebden Bridge, and particularly. So we talked about it being a week long festival and um, so do you want to tell us more a little bit more on the dates on that? Sure, so we've got a fringe, five day fringe from Monday the 8th of August to Friday the 12th yeah. um, and that's got a, f a fringe events throughout the evening and throughout the day uh, throughout Hebden. Um, main festival day is on the 13th which is yeah. Saturday uh, and then Sunday the final day uh, with the pink picnic. Um, we also have the art exhibition, which uh, is just before the fringe on Monday. Uh, sorry, on Thursday is the fourth. Thursday the fourth, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and we have uh, throughout the, the fringe week we have the uh, Hampton Bridge Cinema involved. Okay. To our lovely friends here, really watch us out. Who I believe have got a, a check for us, our first official sponsorship check, which we're delighted to be receiving from them. Um, so thank you very much to everybody here at Yorkshire So. Yes. Um, very proud sponsors. Thank you. Thank very you very much. Um, can we ask a little bit about how Yorkshire So got involved? Of course. Um, the owners of Mobs and Warren just feel really strongly about this course because have done such a sort of a wonderful, warm, supportive community, and there's not that many, I think, little towns where you could maybe feel that supported in sort of opening up a business as a couple in a sort of yeah in a small town and really be able to grow and be accepted by the company um, and sort of yeah be able to to be themselves um, and it's yeah it's just really just really important to us to sort of mm -hmm. to okay, it's been lovely to have their support and I know that yes. they're also uh, donating a number of raffle prizes and yes, bits and bobs as well. <laughs> yeah. So anybody who's got a yen for Yorkshire soap products will uh, probably enjoy oh, yourselves yeah. <laughs> competitions yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you very much. Lovely. You're thank welcome. You. Thank you. Okay, well thanks very much gentlemen, I think that's been a good little chat about our plans for the coming weeks um, and hopefully everybody will look more on the happyvalleypride.com site yes. for information and look out for the programmes distributed here, right. there and everywhere from Canal Street through to uh, the Leeds Bells as well as within Hedgebridge itself. Yeah, absolutely. That's okay. brilliant. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.